Having been kicked out of Bud's, Remy returned to life as a corpsman, this time assigned to a Marine infantry unit. Instead of feeling defeated, however, he saw his failure as a lesson and was determined to return to training. Because I had the mental toughness piece already nailed down, I needed to get humility and I also needed to, I needed to grow as a man. You know, I also needed to learn from my failures and then also learn that a failure is only a failure if you don't learn from it, but if you learn from it, it's a lesson. I needed to get that lesson you know, out of that, out of getting kicked out of SEAL training. And I'm so grateful for it, for it because I apply that lesson today as a husband, as a father, as a businessman. You know, I, I run a couple different businesses and, and I'm, I'm applying lessons from getting kicked out of SEAL training the first time to, to now, you know, so, um, so yeah. After a year and a half with the Marines, Remy returned to Bud's, starting all over again from day one. This time, with the lessons he learned, he graduated and earned his SEAL trident. There were two, two feelings. It was one of, um, I was grateful. Like at that point, it was just like, I was humble and I was grateful. Cause I was just like, man, it wasn't like, yeah, I made it, look at me. You know, me getting kicked out of butts the first time, you know, dealt with that, that part of it, right? At this point, it's like, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be here. That was one feeling I had. The next feeling I had was, I'm ready to get to work. Like, I, like making it through buds is nothing, right? You know, every SEAL has made it through buds. Like, it's actually getting to a platoon and doing the work, you know? And so for me, you know, I was just eager. I was just like a cage pit bull, you know, who had been in a cage for like, 10 years and not fed and I'm ready to get out and eat something, right? Like I was just ready to get to work and, and do the job of a SEAL and not just walk around with a trident on my chest. So that was, that was the feeling of that. Remy acted as his platoon's medic, utilizing his background as a corpsman as well as doing intelligence gathering. I, I, you know, I had a great time in SEAL teams, you know, and I got, and then, but the best part about it for me was the guys, you know, working with the best guys on the on a planet, you know, um, you know, who legends, you know, legends, and you know, just rolling with them out the door, and 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 just being a part of a unit that that personifies excellence, you know, and everybody's challenging everybody to be the best and to do the best, you know, I I don't think I'll ever have that experience anywhere outside of, of the SEAL teams, you know, so um, so yeah. During his time in the teams, having completed three deployments. Remy discovered being a SEAL also helped him confront past childhood trauma he experienced as a victim of bullying growing up in the Bronx. I saw a lot of bullying. You know, I was bullied. You know, I was jumped. I was beat up. And, you know, and I saw people get picked on. I saw there were times where I would see one person get beat up by six people, you know, going walking back from school. And I always despised that. I always, and that's why, you know, I never got involved in the gangs. Cause I, I, to me, gangs, all gang members were cowards. You know what I mean? Like, you need to, it needs to be seven of you to beat on one person. You ain't, you, that's not a manly, that's not hard. You're a coward. And so I hated bullies. And so, one of the reasons, another reason why I wanted to be a SEAL is because I wanted to go after bullies. I wanted to go after those people who picked on the weak, who picked on those who can't protect themselves. I wanted to be the one who could knock on their door and just be like, hey, you're talking all that junk on the camera, you're picking on all these people, you're killing these people, do it to me. Like, here I am, what you got to say now? And so I love that aspect of the job. And uh, it, it fulfilled me because, you know, here I was, you know, having come from this environment where I saw a lot of people picked on and, and jumped and now being able to take that and be the person standing in the gap, that, that, that meant a lot to me. In 2016, now married and a father of two young boys, Remy decided it was time to leave the Navy and the demanding life of being a SEAL behind to focus on being a father something he missed due to his own father passing away when he was young. He enrolled in college using his GI Bill, but didn't know what he wanted to do with his life after school. Then he got a phone call that changed everything. Mm. 